what's up guys gals and non-binary pals uh, thank you so much for watching errant miniatures today uh, we're gonna have a little bit of fun we're gonna do something real easy and but still really awesome I'm gonna be painting an Imperial Guardsman uh, specifically a member of the 8th Cadian Infantry Regiment F in the comments for Cadia please Cadia stands but um, yeah, uh, it's, it's a really easy color scheme, which is great. It's also very, very fast, which is good when you're playing Imperial Guard because you gotta paint a lot of them. I remember when I started my Guard Army, I was, I was doing it for an Escalation League and I bought 500 points worth. And then it hit me that I had, I was staring down the barrel of, I think like 30, no, 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 it was more like 50, uh, infantry models and a bunch of tanks that I had to get painted in two and a half months so <sighs> that was a bit of a thing <laughs> um, but yeah I'm gonna show you how to how to bang out these guys real fast and have them looking really awesome on the table um, so uh, let's hit the paint table and go and uh, get it going okay so we've got our guardsman here and I have primed him using a spray of wraith bone uh, from Citadel. From here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to base, base coat his fatigues using Xandri dust. Okay, so I've got my Xandri dust and I'm just going to move my butt palette so you can see a little better. And I'm just going to thin it out with just a little bit of water. Um, a lot of times with a wet palette, you really don't need to thin it too, too much uh, considering it, the paint's absorbing extra moisture through the paper. But once you've got that nice and thinned down, really you're looking for kind of a creamy consistency. You are ready to go ahead and just Put it all over them, just anywhere that's going to be cloth later. And you may find in some areas that the uh, Xander dust is going to be a little bit see-through, and you'll see some of that Wraithbone undercoat. That is fine. Just as uh, Duncan Rhodes would say, come back in and do a second thin coat and build it up. Okay, so right here I've got some Tyrant Skull. Um, and this is one of the uh, dry paints uh, from GW slash Citadel. Uh, you can do this with uh, a regular paint, you know, with... Um, uh, a shabty bone or any really any bone color that you've got lying around what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just to check what I'm leaving back you see I've been working it off of uh, this brush on a paper towel also tip I like using makeup brushes for dry brushing uh, it, they're just they're just very easy to use and they're cheap and uh, I've got some I've usually got a couple lying around um, Okay, that looks good. Wipe a little more off. And we're just gonna go all over the model and just, uh, you know, either go in like kind of a circular motion, up and down, doesn't really matter. Uh, and we're just gonna highlight all of the model, basically. Official uh, color scheme for these, the official like paint guide, it's uh, Castellan Green. Uh, by GW, which I do not have at the moment. But what I've got is I've got something similar. I've got Vallejo model color, ca camo, olive green. So I'm just going to throw some of that on my palette. Grab my regiment brush, thin it down with just a little water, like always, getting that creamy consistency. Twist the brush and pull to get it to a nice point. And now I am just going to go in and I am going to paint in, you know, uh, his flak armor. Okay, so next up, I'm just kind of adjusting my angle here a little bit. But next up, we are going to grab some Cadian Flesh Tone. I got some right here on my wet palette. And we are going to paint in his face and his hands real quick. Um, this should cover just fine over these, uh, over the, uh, over the primer. And, uh, also on his hands, if you want, you can have him, like, wearing gloves, you certainly can. 
Okay, one thing I'm going to do really quick, uh, just to kind of change things up, you know, get a little bit more variety on the model, I'm going to paint in his, uh, his las gun casing, still in green, but uh, just to change things up a little bit, I am going to be using Wa Flesh. Uh, also, I want to throw this out real quick that if you want to do a guard army with like a woodland camo kind of thing, or you know, if you're doing uh, Katachan jungle fighters, uh, this particular paint is great, great for that. Uh, absolutely fantastic. It's um, what I used for like all of the uniform, well, quote unquote uniforms on my uh, Katachan jungle fighters. And by uniforms, I mean pants. But. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a great uh, for any kind of like forest uh, camo that you might want to do. And um, if you want to see a video on how to do uh, camouflage uh, on on guardsmen, definitely uh, just just leave a comment, and I'd be glad to do that. Okay, next we are gonna do his equipment, like all his all the pouches that he's got hanging off of his webbing and his utility belt, um, and. I'm also going to do the uh, the stock. You'll note I did the pad in that same uh, same green, the uh, the wall flesh, and I'm going to also and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to paint in his the main part of the stock of the rifle with uh, Corvus Black. Now Corvus Black um, is not a pure black. It's more of a super super dark gray. It's an off black. Um, and the reason I'm using this is because uh, when I go to shade the model. It will, uh, it will, you know, take the shade a lot better than a black does. You throw a wash over a black, a pure black paint like Abaddon black or Army Painter matte black, whatever you got, and it's just going to not do anything. So I'm gonna go in and uh, very carefully. I've got a Citadel uh, small layer brush here, and I'm gonna go in and do his uh, utility belt. And the uh, the the, the uh, pouch for his canteen, uh, his extra charge packs. Also, I'm gonna go in and do his boots. You'll see that earlier I did the uh, I believe they're called petites uh, or gaiters. Uh, I think I think these are petites. There's a difference. I, I do not remember. Anyone who's got a better knowledge of military uniforms, please uh, let me know. But I am gonna go in and I'm gonna do his uh, boots with this color as well. Okay, so on my palette here, I've got some uh, Lead Belcher uh, by Citadel, and I've got that thinned down, as always, with just a little bit of water. And I am just going in, and I am doing the uh, metallic parts of the model. This will vary uh, depending on how you've got your model built, or if you've got, like, a sergeant or something, or if you're doing an officer. They might have, you know, some more uh, metallic stuff going on. So just hitting the, uh, the metal parts of the... Uh, Las gun mainly, uh, so we're gonna get we've got the barrel there. Now we just gotta get that charge pack. Next thing that we are gonna do is I'm gonna get the wet palette back out, and I'm gonna grab some uh, Celestial Gray by Citadel. Any other kind of off white color that you might want to do, you could do these in black if you want. Um, you could do it in metal. You could do it in gold, but that's a little bit ostentatious for a guardsman, in my opinion. Uh, so you're going to get the Celestial Gray. We are going to just thin it out. And uh, again, this is going to be something that will vary depending on how you've got your models built. I'm just going to go in, and I'm going to hit the uh, the Aquilas on his Laz gun. And as always, you're going to want to do this in two thin coats. Uh, sometimes these are on the helmets as well. It doesn't seem to be the case with this particular model. And uh, gonna do it on the uh, the canteen cover. Okay, now that we've got all the uh, base coats down, uh, we are gonna do a really easy step. We're gonna do an all over wash of the model. And uh, we're going to use the ultimate in wash technology, Agrax Earthshade. Um, I'm pretty sure that this m is made from uh, the Tears of Angels, or perhaps fairies of some kind. It, it's, it's a mystical concoction, really. <laughs> um, it just works so well. Um, so, got, a, uh, got an Army Painter monster brush here that has seen much better days. And um, we are just going to paint it all over the model of friend of mine uh, likes to refer to this stage as slathering him in brown. 
and really just get it all over there. Just don't bother about being careful. Um, just just be, just slather him in brown. Important though that you make sure that all of your other paints are dry because if anything is not dry, then oh boy, are you in for a mess. Actually, I'm gonna switch to my regiment brush. Now, this is gonna be most easily demonstrated on the back, but what you want, there's something you wanna watch out for. I'm gonna just dry my brush off, clean it out, is you wanna watch out for any areas where the, the wash has like pooled, because when it dries, it just won't look great. You'll notice in these particular folds of the fabric here and here, uh, there was some, so you're just gonna go in and you're gonna wick it away with your brush, maybe spread it around a little bit. So, uh, here's our guardsman after the wash has dried, and he looks, not gonna lie, he looks pretty decent. Um, if I had to paint like 70 of these guys in a short order, which very often playing guard, you do have to get done. You gotta do what you gotta do, hold the line and whatnot. Um, honestly, I might just throw a base on him and leave him like that. Um, however, yeah, now, I'm gonna show you how you can kind of uh, highlight him up just a little bit, get him looking a bit bit uh, bit uh, fancier so I've got here on my palette mixed it with some water I've got uh, army green by army painter and I'm just gonna throw a quick some quick edge highlights on his las gun his armor and his uh, yep just his las gun and his armor actually uh, so um, got a little much on my brush right there but just gonna go in, try and get the brush at an angle where possible. And I'm just gonna go in, highlight that las gun, get that rifle looking just a little brighter. Just gonna get his helmet real quick. Just gonna paint a few quick blocky highlights on this guy. Okay, now that we've got that army green on there, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna do his uh, his equipment and I'm gonna hi edge highlight that with uh, Dark Reaper. Just thin it down, creamy consistency like always, and just go in, highlight his pouches. But one thing that does, uh, that is gonna benefit is uh, going in and just layering a little bit of Cadian Flesh Tone on the high points of his face and hands. That'll just help, you know, help sell him as a finished, uh, finished model. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you had fun uh, and I hope you learned something. Uh, if you've got any questions uh, or any suggestions on stuff that I should paint, uh, leave me a comment in the little box down there. And um, follow my Instagram and my, or my Twitter if you want. It's gray underscore errant. I'll leave some links. And please, of course, like uh, and subscribe. Uh, I'm a new channel. I'm just trying to share my love for this hobby with the community and um, whatnot. So, uh, like I said, subscribe. Be sure to hit that little bell. And if you know someone who's working on a guard army and they're having trouble figuring out how to do it, send them a link. Send them my way. <laughs> All right, so I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Life is hard right now, so I hope you're all taking great care of yourselves and each other.